Canada's on the line. Trevor's calling. Hey, Trevor, what's up in your world? Hey, Dave, how you doing? Better than I deserve. How can I help? <laughs> of course you are. Hey, so uh, me and my wife just uh, recently purchased a business, and uh, we kind of put Baby Step 2 on pause. We paid some stuff off, but uh, we put Baby Step 2 on pause to put a down payment on the business. And uh, we're just trying to prioritize paying off debt either between our business or, or personal. So we kind of have some student loans left over, well, her student loan anyways. And then the business has a, uh, a small owner finance and uh, the building. Okay. Um, so what do you owe the owner? It's uh, 130000 Okay. What do you owe on the building? It's six eighty. It's appraised at eight ten. And that is a um, with a bank loan. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And you bought that at the time you bought the business. Yeah. Okay. All right. So top 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 line is like seven hundred thousand. I got it. And we net we net about ten fifteen percent or so. So you're you're making a whole eighty grand. Uh yeah. So that's with wow. paying myself. Kind of, I've been I've been in the business for you know ten years, so that's paying myself the same what do you wages, and then that's that's uh, so sixty thousand is what I've been paid, and then that's with the old uh, the old owner too as well taking money out. So you know, there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more meat on the table for sure. Okay, I'm sorry, the old owner is taking money out. Why are they taking no, money out? No, so. No, so I, I just bought this business. Like we take possession in August in like two weeks here. So okay, so what will um, you make in the coming twelve months? Net profit on this business? If you uh, make if you make sixty, what's the net profit? Uh, making sixty, our, our projected net income is about eighty thousand. Okay, wow, you're not making nothing. Holy crap! What did you pay for? Well, you didn't pay a lot because you only owe one hundred and thirty. I hope right. I don't know what you did. Okay. All right, and her student loan is what? Uh, it's uh, forty thousand. Okay, and what other debt do you have? Uh, just one hundred and thirty thousand on my house mortgage. Okay, all right. It's worth it's worth like two hundred. Okay, we teach a process in the personal finance realm called the baby steps. You're aware of that, it sounds like. Right, right. And right. Yeah. Uh, real estate all goes in baby step six, and that includes your yeah. building. Okay, which leaves me $170,000 worth of debt, a student loan, and $130,000 to this owner, of which you've got $80,000 and a $60,000 income to work on this, plus your wife's income. What does she make? Um, yes, yeah, so that's the thing. She's a teacher, so uh, she makes about sixty, seventy thousand. 70000 But uh, to throw another monkey wrench in, we're also on stork mode, so she's going to be due in January. So we're not exactly sure how soon she's going to be going back to work. But in the meantime, you know, she's got a year or so. Not quite, but. Okay, so that income's gone. Uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, congratulations on the baby. I'm trying to figure out uh, how y'all plan to do all this on on $140,000 a year. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, this is tough. Um, did you personally sign the note for the owner, or is it only leaned against the business? Uh, it's leaned against the business, and it's interest free. Um, and he he wants a, a payment within five years. So on the hundred and thirty. On the hundred and thirty, correct? Yeah. Yeah. What can you live on at home? Um, we're pretty frugal, so, um, you know, I actually don't know if we've ever done like a yearly, we just, we're using every dollar for our monthly, uh, expenses. What is, what's your monthly? Um, right around like 2000 a month. Okay. So let's, guess, let's, let's call it, let's call it four and make sure. that 50,000 just for fun. Okay. Um, because you got a baby on the way. All right, if you got 50000 and you make sixty minus taxes, so basically you're going to clear the eighty, give or take. And if you throw eighty at one seventy, you'd be done. That, that's one thirty plus forty. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you throw eighty at that for two years, you'd almost be done. 
Okay. And that's, that's, that's with no retained earnings in the business, right? True. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You've obviously studied what we teach, so I'm backing up. Um, yeah. I, I would set aside 15 to 20 percent of your net profits and retained earnings and I would throw the re- I would throw the rest either I would throw the rest of the student loan and or, or split it between the student loan and the owner but either way you, you you're gonna be you need to be done in three years here and the other possibility is is that you take this business and make it more profitable which I think was probably your reason right. for buying it right so um, be neat if you made 120 mm-hmm. instead of 80. Right. So the, the, yeah, the building is actually quite large and we only have five employees right now and it's, um, you know, five thousand square feet. It's a, a body shop and things have just been kind of run on a skeleton crew lately. His the old owner's son actually committed suicide and it's been a kind of a sad situation. So mm. things have been just kind of on autopilot for a while. So, I mean, the, the market is there definitely to, to improve, but I'm just trying to you know, go off of what we've been doing, right? Yeah, you got to get out there and work it. But you could, sure. you know, double your income here. That's the hope. <laughs> which solves the whole thing in a year and a half, right? You're, you pay off the student sure, loan yeah. and the owner in a year and a half. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm going to retain 10 to 20% of, retain, of net profits after you make your 60. Uh, you can live on your 60 is what we're saying with your wife quitting with a baby. And... Um, uh, and anything that's profit, then we're going to set ten to twenty percent aside. You figure out the number, whichever you want it to be, for retained earnings to invest back into the business and grow it, and then get after, get out there and hustle and grow, hustle and grow, hustle and grow. And let's get this thing shiny again. Get it all cleaned up inside. Customer walks in, they get a whole different feel. Everything, uh, the whole marketing look, the look tone feel of the whole business shifts. And uh, you get out there and scratch around with the insurance companies. Let's get the business lined up, get it flowing back in. If it's a body shop, and um, you know, yeah, you go double your income uh, from eighty to one sixty. You only got one hundred and seventy in debt. Then you're done in a little over a year. And now that starts to make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, that's the route I would go. Something along those lines. If it stays at eighty, um. I'm going to do some combination of about half of that going towards student loans and about half of it going towards the owner because one's down at the office and one's at home. And I do need to clean that owner up fairly quick because you do have a five-year note on that. Uh, and I don't want that balloon coming and popping on in my face here either. That doesn't make any sense at all. So good question, man. Good job. Keep it up. Keep up the fight.